What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are going to do uh, some mail today. A little bit of mail time. And switch it up again. Back to flesh and blood. I did open up this Ira welcome deck. So we won't be opening that up. But I do have a special box here to open. And after this... I will open my first box of Arcane Rising. So I'm excited for that. My knowledge of the game is still yet very limited. And so, and I've tried to keep it that way somewhat. Uh, so all of the, the new stuff, new things like that aren't spoiled for me. Uh, I can kind of experience that for the first time. Instead of having it all ruined and whatnot. If that makes any sense. Now this came from overseas. Actually, a, less than a week. In a matter of a few days. Let's see if it says yet where it came from. This is from the UK. See that right there? The UK. All right. Very nicely packed because the boxes are squashed. Every package I get seems to be squashed, smashed up. So I appreciate the very nice packing from this gentleman or lady. All right, and let's see. Very nice bubble wrapped. Very nicely bubble wrapped. All right, let's get these out of here and give it a look. These should be the, the hero decks and they are excellent. Let's open these up and have a look. So we have Bravo Showstopper, The Guardian, nice, yep, and very nicely packed in there. Yeah, that's what sealed meant. I was worried the cardboard box wasn't sealed. Maybe they never came that way. Just like this. I liken them to something of the early Magic Starter decks, obviously. The Welcome decks are meant to introduce you to the game. But I like to collect some things. And these are one of the earliest products of the game. And what better to have than the Hero decks. So that's awesome. Let's take a look at the rest of these. Yeah, the art is, is nice. The boxes look clean all around. Just very nice looking. Dorinthia. There's the warrior. And nice and sealed in there. Next, it looks like we've got Katsu. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think I'll open these. I'll probably look up the deck lists. Like I said, still newer. There's no one to play with in my area, so I haven't actually played myself. Still just watch it online. There's Katsu, the ninja. The wanderer. Yeah, and he's sealed. Nice. Yeah, 60 card ninja deck showcasing the combo mechanic. Awesome. Alright, and last but not least should be Reinar, the brute. <clears throat> well, like I was saying, I don't plan on opening these. I like to keep some sealed products. I just like things that way sometimes. Awesome. Very awesome. Yeah. And nice and sealed. And 
this is his deck showcasing the intimidate mechanic all right very nice very happy to get those but like i was saying probably won't open them we'll look up the deck lists put them together with what i've got that way as to keep them sealed and dun 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 let's crack into this one the arcane rising case this will be my first opening of this set It's my favorite color, so these naturally are going to look good to my eyes. Alright, there we have it, our case of Arcane Rising. And just go ahead and set those up along there. And we'll take this one. With the heroes in the back to hopefully lead us to some glory here. What are we looking for? The fabled is the Eye of Aphidia. And I think what I've noticed is we're looking for the equipment cards. Some of them foilies. All right. These are nice, small boxes. I like the presentation. Set those like that. Pop these out. Four packs, and let's get to cracking. Probably go a little slower at first. Nice to check out these cards. <clears throat> Once again, still newer. So, I really only know the, the really four main heroes. I mean, I know of Dash and Azalea and stuff like that, but I haven't looked over the cards, read them, like I said, actually played. It's just been more of looking online and not wanting to spoil a lot of things for myself. Still wanting to experience it for the first time. So this is the Ranger, Azalea. And once per turn, put a card from your arsenal on the bottom of your deck. If you do, put the top card of your deck face up into your arsenal. If it's an arrow card, it gains Dominate until end of turn. Go again. The defending hero can't defend the attack with more than one card from their hand. I'm a guessing I'm guessing is what Dominate is. Alright, so that's cool. So we got her on both sides there. Awesome. Very nice. Set you there. We get our generic actions. Come to fight. Plus three, go again. All right. Whisper of the Oracle. Opt two. It's like scry. And we put them on the top and or bottom in any order, go again. All right. Foresight, the next attack action card you play this turn gains plus one. If it's played from Arsenal, opt two. All right, go again. And our last generic action, Fervent Forerunner. If it hits, opt two. If it's played from Arsenal, it gains, go again. Okay. And the generic equipment. The No Room Boots. Right, supposed to be uh, Arcane Rising with wizards and, and more magic themed in this set, I, I see. And, and as I as m my knowledge is, I guess, we've got Take Aim. Oh, super, super rare. Ranger Action, Rapid Fire. 
until end of turn, arrows you control gain, go again. Reload. If you have no cards in your arsenal, you may put a card from your hand face down into your arsenal. Go again. And Fervent Forerunner. All right. And then we get the class-specific Ranger, the Mechanologist, the Ranger, the Wizard Action, Aether Flare, Spellblade Strike, Reverberate and amplify the arc map. So that's a, so Rune Blade, Wizard, Ranger, and Mechanologist must be the four new classes. Like I said, I've seen, I haven't watched too much of these heroes play, <clears throat> and I've watched gameplay, but I've tried to keep some things. Uh, uh, new so that they are to be experienced for the first time for myself i prefer it that way i'll stick the fervent forerunner in here all right foil guy and also this super rare all right so that was the first pack and we'll speed up along the way just want to experience the product for the first time myself in person. All right, I've got a moon chant token. When you play an attack action or attack with a weapon, destroy rune chant and deal one arcane damage to target opposing hero. All right. And the Crucible of Aetherwave. This is the, wes uh, the wizard's weapon. Two-handed staff. All right. That looks pretty cool. Whisper of the Oracle. Sun Kiss. Foresight. Ravenous Rabble, all right, and that's the gen last generic action. We're going to get the equipment here, the Crown of Dichotomy. This is the Rune Blade equipment for the head. Yeah, and this is put target Rune Blade attack action card and target Rune Blade non-attack action card from your graveyard on top of your deck in any order, Arcane Barrier. Yeah, this is to help stop against some wizards, some wizarding and whatnot. All right, we got Spellblade Assault. Create two rune chant tokens. All right, our second one is Aether Spindle. Deal four arcane damage to target opposing hero. Opt X. X is the damage dealt by the Aether Spindle. And we've got the Robe. Of Rapture. Wow, that looks cool. I like the way the foiling uh, works out on some of these cards. All right. <clears throat> Sleeve this up. And we'll get to moving along here. Been a few minutes through those packs, so we won't be we won't be as long. Headshot locked and loaded. Sikkim Shot, Voltic Bolt, Blood Spill Invocation, and Zap. All right, we'll pick it up just a little bit here. We know the composition of the packs. I just wanted to see some of these newer cards in person. See some of the tokens. Let's see some more of these heroes. We've got another Rune Chant token. The Plasma Pistol, the Mechanologist Weapon, Two-Handed Pistol. Remove a Steam Counter from Teclo Plasma Pistol, Attack, Action, Pay One Resource. If there are no Steam Counters on Teclo Plasma Pistol, put a Steam Counter on it, go again. All right, so pat, 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 I see. Cadaverous Contraband, Lead the Charge. Whisper of the Oracle, Back Alley Breakline, 
And the talismanic lens. Destroy it, opt two. All right. Our first rare is you take aim. Our second is Oath of the Ark Knight. And our last is Over the Loop. All right, that looks kind of cool there with the foiling on that one. All right, zero to 60, Over Loop, Boom Flash, Scalding, Aether Flare. Let's keep this moving right along here, guys. Like I said, we will speed this up. Foil there. Two rares to the rare pile. And let's keep going. Anybody excited for Monarch? I do. At least we'll get a case of the first edition. So that's exciting for me. Um, excited to see what's coming next. Hopefully we'll see some necromancy and some clerics possibly. Some light and dark side themes. I don't know. What do you guys think is, is the new set's going to be about? Let me know down below. Give me a like, subscribe if you're new here. Thanks for sticking around. If not, thanks for not sticking around. Stir the Aether Winds. All right. Our second super rare is Chains of Eminence. Cause zero resources. Go again. When it enters the arena, name a card. The named card can't be pitched, played, or used to defend while Chains of Eminence is in the arena. At the beginning of your action phase, destroy Chains of Eminence. Okay. All right. And we've got Locked and Loaded there. So let's go ahead and sleeve this one up. Our second super rare. And the foil. Set in there. Finish this pack off, headshot, zipper hit, ridge rider shot, throttle, read the runes, reverberate, and drone to the dark dimension. All right. Let's hit something good. Let's hit like a legendary or something like that. Heck, let's hit the eye of a video. Rune chance galore. And the Death Dealer, the Ranger's Weapon. Once per turn action, one resource. If you have no cards in your arsenal, you may put an arrow card from your hand face up into your arsenal. If you do, draw a card, go again. All right. We've got Lead the Charge, Rifting, Fate Foreseen, Vigor Rush, and the Bracers of Belief. And let's get to our first rare, Plunder Run. Yeah, the next time an attack action card you control hits this turn, draw a card. If it is played from Arsenal, the next attack action card you play this turn gets two plus attack go again. So uh, I'm going to say that's probably not the worst card. Uh, I'm not the... <laughs> I don't know too much about the game and, and deck composition and whatnot yet still. So I can't say for sure. Enchanting Melody. And we've got a Come to Fight. Savage Shot, Hyper Driver, Searing Shot, Index, Spellblade Strike, Aether Flare, and Amplify the Arc Knight. Let's sleeve you up, and let's keep going. Moving along pretty quickly now. Getting a little familiar with what we're looking for. Some of these cards here. Rune Chance Galore. <clears throat> And we've got the Crucible of Aetherwave, Moonwish, Come to Fight, Force Sight, Whisper of the Oracle. We've got the Achilles Accelerator, Take Aim, Art of War. Nice. All right. I think this is a nice card to pull. Art of War is not bad at all. Art of War Yellow. So cost one, choose two. Attack action card you control gain plus one attack and plus one defend this turn. The next, yeah, and this is an instant. The next attack action card you play this turn gains go again. 
You get to choose two until end of turn. You may defend with attack action cards from Arsenal, or you may banish an attack action card from your hand. If you do, draw two cards. So yeah, that is a nice, nice pull. Art of War. And we've got the Ridge Rider shot. Leave this guy up here. Little Nick there on the corner. Beyond that, she's looking pretty good. All right. We'll go ahead and set you up here. Leave this guy too. Zipper hit, hamstring shot, over loop, ridge rider shot, scalding rain, read the runes, and reverberate. Yeah, we gotta get it moving though. We're not even uh, halfway through the box. There's only 24 in a box. In a box. What a nice set though so far. I am enjoying this. Another rune chant token, the pistol. We've got rifting, sun kiss, fate foreseen, come to fight, the gloves, take cover, life for life, and the back alley break line. Optical monocle. Is it optical? Is it? All right. Let's get something, another spicy. Let's find a legendary here, guys. Let's find something. One thing I do like about the game is the hunt for the chase cards. But also that they're not so game-breaking like other card games. It's more of a, wow, you have one of those, that's cool. Not, oh, you have one of those, now I lose. I've got to reduce to rune chant. Take aim. Ooh, and a foil rare. Absorb an aether. The next card, this is a wizard defense reaction for one resource for defense. The next card you play this turn with an effect that deals arcane damage instead deals that much arcane damage plus two. Okay. I could see that uh, being pretty viable for wizard. Uh, I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. But that seems like a solid hit for wizard. Nice little rare foil there. The sickle shot. A zipper hit. Hamstring, Locked and Loaded. I like the names of these cards, too. Um, they're really cool. Really cool. Flesh and Blood has just really grown on me. I wanted to get those intro decks. Those are super cool. Super nice. And, uh, I'm excited to get in here. Hopefully I can convince some people around me to get some of this and play with myself. Otherwise, playing with yourself isn't too fun, right? <laughs> Anyways, Whisper of the Oracle. We've got the Talismanic Lens. Our first rare is going to be Silver the Tip. All right, we've got an Aether Sink. Nice, a Mechanologist action. Yeah, the borders are just cool. The art, the composition of the cards is just awesome. Steam counter on it, resource, but resource. If there are no steam counters on it, put a steam counter on it, go again. Or instant, remove a steam counter from it, it gains arcane barrier two. If your hero would be dealt arcane damage, you may pay two resource instead if you do prevent two. Okay, so it's like a, uh, yeah, defense against the wizard kind of thing again. All right, and our foil index. It's got the old man there with the zippity zap. He's not looking too happy about what he's reading about. Look at the top four cards of your deck. Put one card from among them on top of your deck and the rest on the bottom of your deck. All right. So that's like, yeah, scry four. Yeah. 
and leave one on top. You gotta put one on top and the rest on the bottom. All right, well, probably nothing too special there. Salvage shot, throttle, headshot, Baltic bolt. The dark dimension. Yeah, that's like, uh, reminds me of Dormammu, Doctor Strange, and the Dark Dimension. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! had a Dark Dimension too. Oh, alright, cool. We finally got a different hero. We've got Viserai, and he's a Runeblade hero. Whenever you play a Runeblade card, if you have played another non-attack action card this turn, create a Rune Chain token. Alright. All right, and his, wow, that art is cool too. He looks pretty boss there. Pretty, pretty cool there. Yeah, the awesome thing about the game is too, the characters are tokens. They're not legendary creatures that you have to find um, and go sought after or go pay for. They're right there for you to pick up and decide who you want to be. The Mage Master Boots, I like the way those look. Those look awesome. Action, resource, destroy Mage Master Boots. The next non-attack action card you play this turn gains. Go again, go again, okay, okay. I could see that working. I could see that really working, maybe. I don't know, let me know if this is a, a viable piece of equipment there. We've got Oath of the Ark Knight. Pedal to the metal. And force sight. Yeah, the mage master boots. Those look pretty, pretty sick. Foil version is probably pretty cool too. Overloop, searing shot, locked and loaded, sickum shot, ether flare, rune flash, and reverberate. Alright, so almost halfway through this pack through this box I mean thanks for checking out the video if you're new here give me a thumbs up like and subscribe do a little bit of everything right now we're doing the fab the flesh and blood it's something that I want to uh, play I'm trying to get some people around me to play and it's a newer game uh, that definitely has my attention right now and this is Dash the inventor extraordinaire she's the mechanologist and you may start the game with a mechanologist item with cost two or less in the arena. That's sweet. I, I don't even really know the mechanologist items, but we'll find out. It's considered to have entered the arena. So if there's maybe some kind of ETB effect. All right. Awesome. Very, very nice. So that well, we've got Dash, Viserai, and uh, Azalea. We'll see the last hero. Yeah, we will find the last hero, hopefully, at some point. Need to charge. Vigor Rush. These are the bracers. Reveal the top card of your deck. If you do the next attack action card you play this turn, gains plus X, where X is 3, minus the pitch value of the card revealed this way. Go again. So you want to opt... And set it up so that, yeah, you have a zero pitch value there. Yeah, okay, okay. Bracers of Belief. Our first rare is Aether Spindle. We've got Pour the Mold. And Fate Foreseen. Alright, so we've got uh, uh, two super rares so far. And one foil rare so far out of the box. Not halfway through yet. This will be the official halfway point. Yeah, really enjoying this. And there he is, Kano. Flawless victory. Instant, pay three resource. Look at the top card of your deck. If it's a non-attack action card, you may banish it. If you do, you may play it this turn as though it were an instant. All right. All right. Yeah, another thing that's really cool about the game, each person, hero, and class can do certain things, and it makes building the deck uh, so much different, so much cooler in what you can do with them. Uh, just really, really cool, really appealing. 
Yeah. And so he... Oh, okay, yeah. I was going to say, that seems to be a very powerful effect. And so I can see the drawback is that Kano only has 15 life in his young version. And he only has 30 in his adult version. So, interesting, interesting, interesting. We've got Sunkiss come to fight. Back alley break line, a push to the point, the Null Rune Robe, Oath of the Arc Knight. All right, there's a super rare. Dash is specialization. So these, to the best of my knowledge, okay, that's an XX up here. The, you may only have Spark of Genius in your deck if your hero is Dash. So these are like their supers. This is like their super art, you know, if you play Street Fighter or something like that. But this is kind of like their specials. Uh, obviously, specializi specialization. Search your deck for a Mechanologist item card with cost X. Put it into the arena, then shuffle your deck. If you have boosted this turn, draw a card. And uh, the flavor text down at the bottom says, so if I grab and then connect, that's it. All right. So, yeah. This is a tutor. A tutor there. Oh, a foil majestic. Arc Knight Ascendancy. Ooh, so we got two specializations right back to back. Very nice. Yeah, see, okay, so this takes six resources for only five damage. It costs one resource less to play for each rune chant you control. Okay, so it seems like you were making, we, you know, if you're running that, you're making a bunch. If it hits, create X rune chant token, so you're making more, where X is the damage dealt by Arc Knight Ascendancy. And Dominate is on that too. So awesome. Very nice. We hit a super rare and then a foil majestic in the same pack. Very nice. So we've got two super arts. That was nice. This is a super rare here. And then we've got a foil majestic. Nice. Let's check this one out. A little doink there in the corner. Good there. Uh, there's a little bit down there in that corner too. But either way, the purple and the foiling on this card is just pretty awesome. Let's set you back there with Reinar. All right. That was halfway. Let's get another spicy pull. How about a legendary or a fable in this one, eh? Ooh, is this the uh, crack bobble luck? Boop! Very nice. We've got Vigor Rush, Push the Point, Cadaverous Contraband, Ravenous Bobble, and the Achilles Accelerator. Stir the Aether Winds. A convection amplifier. So it's an item. All right. So yeah, with dash you can start with items on it. When it enters the arena, it enters the arena with two steam counters on it. When it has no steam counters on it, destroy it. Action. Remove a steam counter from convection amplifier. The next attack action card you play this turn gains dominate. Go again. Okay. So that, that seems pretty good. Zero. Okay. All right. And we've got a foil take, rare take aim. Nice. And that's what I like about it. Uh, it doesn't take too much to build a deck. And uh, even if somebody else has the super nice cards or the super rare cards... Um, it's not like you ran into Kaiba and he just played Blue Eyes White Dragon and there's no chance of beating it. Um, it, it the, the, it's just marginally better, minimally better. And, and that to me is awesome. It's awesome to chase for those cards. Um, and we know that they're super rare, so getting them is not a letdown because in gameplay it's not going to break the game. I enjoy that, me personally. 
Let me know what you guys think about that down below. So now we've got Azalea Young and Dash Young. I wonder if there's a rarity to how they print the tokens and what's on the front and what's on the back. If anyone knows anything about that and has got to the 35 minute mark, let me know down below. <laughs> the No Room Gloves, Pedal to the Metal, Lesson in Lava, all right, so that is another super rare. This is Kano's special. You may only have Lesson in Lava in your deck if your hero is Kano. So deal three arcane damage to target opposing hero. If Lesson in Lava deals damage, you may search your deck for a wizard card with pitch cost less to or equal to or less than the damage dealt by Lesson in Lava. Reveal it, then shuffle your deck and put it on top of your deck. Okay, so this is a tutor card. And once again, look at the, the sweet border. Kano and his cool border around there. That's just really, really cool. Really, really cool. All right, and we've got Amplify the Arc Knight. So let's sleeve up the super rare. And the foil. I've got hamstring shot, optical monocle, ridge rider shot, reverberate, amplify the arc knight, aether flare, and spell blade strike. All right. Yeah, super excited for Monarch though. It'll be here soon. You guys, it won't be much, but I am offering at least one box of first edition for opening. So if you want to get your hands on that, let me know. Wow, is that back-to-back -back cracked bobbles? No, no, no. It was Dash. So two out of the last three packs were. We've got the double bobble there. But let me know if you guys want to get your hands on some. Because I will be willing to at least part with one of the boxes. And some packs from my case. We've got Fate Foreseen, Fervent, Forerunner, Back Alley Break Line, Rifting, The Robe, All right, Life for a Life, Pedal to the Metal, and a Spellblade Strike. Hyper Driver, that's another uh, Mechanologist item. Enters the arena with three Steam Counters on it. When it has no Steam Counters on it, destroy it. Once per turn effect, when you boost a card, remove a Steam Counter from Hyper Drive and gain one resource. So I could see that obviously being an uh, uh, integral part of the Mechanologist's um, deck there. Searing Shot, 0-60. to 60. Spellblade Strike, Aether Flare, Rune Flash, and the Old Man. Alright. I don't think that this box has been too bad, but I really don't know what's a good box from a bad box if there's no Fabled or Legendary in it. So if you know and you've made it this far, let me know down below. We've got Young Viserai there, and the Death Dealer. Sunkiss, lead the charge. 